I'm going to show you how to turn a kind of boring nighttime landscape into something like this with a little more pizzazz in Photoshop. Alright, so this is going to be the first photo of two that I'm going to show you. This one is going to be the basics on how to edit um, a sky and replace the boring sky we have here with one with cool stars and stuff like that. <laughs> And the second one I'm going to show you a little bit more involved in color and with like a reflection in the water. So let's get started with this one. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a cool photo. It's got this nice lit up pagoda here on the mountaintop and overlooking the city here, but the sky is just black. There's nothing in the sky, absolutely no stars whatsoever. And actually there was supposed to be a lunar eclipse this day, but it was just one giant overcast cloud. <laughs> So that didn't really turn out, but it's all right, because we're gonna fix that now. So I have this photo here, and you can get tons of free public domain uh, photos from NASA, brought to you by uh, taxpayers' money. Um, but you can find it on nasa.gov or hubblesite.org or a bunch of other places. They even have official NASA um, accounts on Flickr where you can download everything, including like Apollo missions and everything like that. So I took this photo here, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm going to select everything here and copy it on into this photo. Just got to paste it. <clears throat> All right, and as you'll see, this already converted it to black and white. And the reason is because my background layer here, this is already in black and white. So this automatically converted it. If it doesn't, you can always just go up here to Image, Adjustments, and then Black and White. Easy way to change it. Okay, so now we're going to go to Edit, Free Transform, and we're going I'm to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to just make this huge. <laughs> uh, but uh, you can see we can't really see what we're doing here, so I'm going to go over here into the Layers panel and lower the opacity to you know, around 50%-ish. Okay, so I'm just gonna mess around and form this into how I want it to look. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit enter, just zoom in a little bit here. Got to lower, or excuse me, not lower, <laughs> raise the opacity back up to 100%. And uh, yeah, it's not, uh, it doesn't look very good here. You can see it's cutting off the, the, the city and the pagoda is gone and it's fine, we'll fix it. So we're gonna select our layer here. We're gonna go into the blending layers mode in the layers panel here. Right now it's set to normal. We're gonna click on lighten. And ta-da, you'll see that it brought the um, city back in the pagoda, but you'll notice that the sky also <laughs> kind of uh, is overlaid on top of the city and the pagoda. We can fix that. I'm going to go down here to this little rectangle with a circle on it. That's add a layer mask. Currently it's filled in with white. So we're going to make sure we have black selected and then hit our paintbrush tool here. And I'm going to increase the size. I'm just going to brush right over the city. All right. You can see that remove the stars here. I'm going to go before and after. See that remove the stars from here. Now let's do the same thing over here with Pagoda. I'm going to zoom in. All right, and you'll see I went a little too far, and that's all right. We can fix that. Just flip over to white here in the swatch tool and paint over everything you missed. All right. Oops. <laughs> Miss the spot again. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay. So as you can see, that looks pretty cool. Uh, you can always go in here and fix everything up. Maybe you didn't want this little bit here. 
But uh, you can move this around and, and arrange it however you'd like, but that's the basics for this. Now we're gonna go into the second photo. I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing, but with color and also a reflection. Now this is the second photo we're gonna be using here. Uh, in this photo, we're going to not only blend in the stars with the sky here, but also do a little reflection here in the river. Uh, so just like in the first one, I'm gonna go and select a new image. This one, this time I selected something maybe a little bit more realistic <laughs> than a gigantic galaxy, but you know, it looked cool, so that's all that matters, right? So I select this, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna paste it into this image here. Now, before I do anything with this, I'm actually gonna hide the layer, because I wanted to mention something, uh, which I forgot to the last time. In the last image, you'll notice, you'll notice, you'll have noticed, you noticed <laughs> that the background was black. Just like in this one, there's nothing in the sky, but what if, for example, you had big white fluffy clouds in the sky? Uh, well, maybe you didn't want them in the sky because instead of replacing the sky completely, what I'm showing you how to do is blending the current sky in with the stars that you're going to be placing on top. So that means anything that's in this current sky will show through, including if there were any clouds here. But if you didn't want the clouds, let me show you how to get rid of them. Now I don't have any clouds in the sky here, but I do have these little lens flares here and here, which we can pretend they're big white fluffy clouds. <laughs> they're, they're pretty similar. All right, so I'm gonna do a, <laughs> I'm gonna do a rough selection here. I need to. <laughs> so you'll notice I selected two different ones here. I could just hold down the shift key and do as many of these selections as I want, but I just need those two there. Now we're gonna go to edit, fill. Make sure we have content aware fill selected. Hit okay. And ta-da, no more big white fluffy cloud lens flares. <laughs> so before and after. This will usually get rid of them pretty pretty nicely. It'll it'll blend all the sky around it with and replace this the um, clouds with the sky surrounding and everything that. Might have to do some cloning here with spot healing or maybe this clone stamp here to get it out. But that's another video. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the stars here. And I'm going to, just like in the first one, I'm going to lower the opacity about like 50% so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to roughly move it into place. I think that, that looks pretty cool. Well, not yet, but it will in a second. So I'm going to raise the opacity back up. And again, we're going to go to the blending mode here. Instead of lighten, this time I'm actually going to go to soft light. And the reason I'm using soft light as opposed to lighten or something else is just because on this specific photo, it works well with it. I think it works well. Normally, uh, the ones that work the best are usually overlay, lighten, and darken. It all depends on the background, the, um, excuse me, the photo that you're doing. If it was a dark sky, if it was a lighter sky, there's things in the sky. It all depends. Mess around with it and see what works best for you. But I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, soft light here. Now we're going to once again go down to the rectangle with a circle in it, the mask, and create a new mask. Go over to our brush tool. Make sure black is selected. And I'm just going to brush over top of everything that isn't the sky. All right, that looks pretty good, but it's actually a little underexposed, so I'm going to raise the exposure. So we're gonna go down here to um, the layer mask, make sure we select that, and we're gonna right click on it and add mask to selection. It's gonna add everything, well, the mask, everything that we have left, which is these stars here in the sky. Okay, then we're gonna go down to this half filled in circle, which is a, <clears throat> excuse me, adjustment layer. We're gonna click on exposure. And you'll notice that the exposure here already has everything masked off. So anything that we we change will only affect the mask. <laughs> Don't wanna do something that ridiculous. Maybe about like half a stop in the sky. 
Looks good to me. All right, so now let's go back to this image here, which is the skies. Not selecting the uh, the mask here, but actually selecting the stars themselves. And we're gonna go over here and copy it and just paste it. So now we're just going to lower the opacity so I can see what I'm doing and just move this into place. Or we would <laughs> if we didn't flip it first. Uh, I am awake today. All right, so we're gonna go to edit, transform, flip vertically. Okay, so that mirrored the, let me raise the opacity so you can see what I'm doing. And that mirrored the image because, well, in a reflection, it is vertically flipped here. And you'll notice that this bit here is in line with this here. So we're gonna go back into the blending mode and hit soft light again. We want it to be the same as the one in the sky. That way it's consistent. <laughs> I'm gonna move this layer above that one so it doesn't affect it in any way. Now we're gonna add another layer mask again. Make sure black is selected and go to your paintbrush tool. Brush over everything that isn't the um, river. Now you'll notice this is, this is really dark down here. You can't really see anything. So again, just like we did down here for this exposure, we're going to right click on the mask of the new one we just created. Add mask to selection. That won't matter up there. <laughs> Actually, you know what, just, just to make me feel better, I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to paint that as black. Even though there's nothing there, I'm gonna paint it as black anyway. All right, oops, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to add mask to selection, select it down here. We're gonna go down to the half sort filled in circle adjustment layer, exposure, Raise the exposure a fair bit on this one. Be about maybe like that. And you still want the reflection to be darker than the sky. So if you notice in any kind of reflection, um, reflections, usually the reflection is darker, about like a, a half a stop, maybe a stop, depending on the light, darker than the sky. So you can still see everything here all the little star details in the river, but it is slightly darker and that's what you want. All right, and so that's the basic gist of everything. I'm actually gonna go in here and remove this part here. Well, not remove it. Oh my God, make it darker because this is a bit bright. But yeah, that's the basics. So I hope this helped you somehow and uh, take care. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Um, I hope it helps you in one way or another, and if it did, then go ahead and hit the like button because that lets me know that you, well, <laughs> like the video. And if you like the video that much, you can hit subscribe to see more videos like this one here on Creative Long Exposure Light Trails, and many more videos about photography and tutorials and reviews and things like that. Also, feel free to leave a comment below about anything you've learned in the video or maybe any other tips and tricks that you'd like to point out for other people. I read every single comment, so I promise I will read yours. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm on all the usual social media suspects, and uh, yeah. So, until next video, see you later.